Hello, this is Spanish 1, Unit 3, Part 2. In this video, we're going to start at 2A6 and move on from there, see how far we can get. So, in uh, 2A6, uh, and we're looking at about day 5 or 6 of your student guide, um, we come across el verbo exacto, and you'll see something like this, fill in the chart with all the uh, forms of the verbs given and you'll also see some endings there added in for you or some forms added in for you so we'll look at that and but let's see in your textbook what it's talking about we see present tense of AR verbs and you know an AR verb by the ending of the infinitive form now you already looked at infinitives in Spanish which were Words like practicar de deportes, nadar, esquiar, ir a la escuela, uh, estudiar. Okay, you you went uh, you went through those and you learned those in your vocabulary. Those that were actually all infinitive verbs, and we call them infinitives because um, it it means the to form of the verb to talk, to study, to go to school, to dance, to sing. Now, when we put these in the forms, we are doing what's called conjugation. So, for example, in English, we have the word to talk as the infinitive, but when we put it with the pronoun I, we get I talk. For you, it's you talk, so the form is the same, but with he and she, it's talks, right? We actually had an S at the end, and so in Spanish, they have endings too. It just has more than English does. Okay, so this is present tense is how you say the present tense and this is how the, you do conjugation with AR verbs. That means that verbs when in the infinitive have an AR at the end. Okay, these are those forms in the present tense. So let's take a look. You already know that the uh, infinitive forms of Spanish verbs always end in AR, ER, or IR. The largest group of verbs end in AR. Hablar is one of those AR verbs. You can see it ends in AR. You will want to use verbs in ways other than in the infinitive form. To do this, you will drop the AR endings and uh, make changes. To create the form of most AR verbs, you first drop the AR from the infinitive, leaving the stem. So, hablar, AR is called the ending because it's an AR verb. Once we remove that, we have H-A-B-L. That's called the stem. Right? It doesn't mean anything by itself, but it needs something at the end of it. Then you add the verb endings. O, as, a, amos, ais, or an to the stem. Here are the forms of hablar. So the O goes with yo. Yo hablo, I'm speaking or I speak, or I do speak. Remember, there's no aming in Spanish. You just say hablo. You just use the present tense. Tu hablas. And there's the AS ending there. You speak. Usted habla. Also means you speak, but it's formal. El habla, ella habla. He speaks or talks. She speaks. Nosotros hablamos. We speak. Or we're speaking. Vosotros or vosotras has hablais. Now this one is a plural form of tú hablas. It's only used in Spain. So this is only, the only time I'll mention it, and it's prob it's not going to be on a test. Um, but uh, it's just important that you're at least aware of that because you might come across it. But uh, since the verb stem is, is all the same, it's pretty easy to figure out. But the ending would be pronounced ais. Hablais. And the last one is hablan. We have ustedes hablan, which is you plural. Ustedes hablan. And then ellos and ellas hablan. They speak. They speak. Now it says in Spanish, the present tense of a, of a form of a verb can be translated into English into two ways. So this is what I was talking about with the aming, right? 
I am speaking Spanish. Hablo español or simply I speak Spanish is the same. It's the same. The verb endings always indicate who's doing the action. In this case, they tell who is speaking. Because of this, you can often use the verb without a subject. Hablo inglés is I speak English. Hablas español, do you speak Spanish? Subject pronouns are often used for emphasis or clarification. Ella habla inglés, pero él habla español. She speaks English, but he speaks Spanish. Here, you have to clarify because habla is the same form. So there is possible confusion. So with these three and these three, there could be some confusion as, as the uh, as goes the, as for for the meaning. So let's go back to our chart. We just saw in your book that um, you know the endings for hablar. We just saw hablo, etc. Well, what we can do is simply copy in your textbook. And we could uh, just transfer them over there. So if we don't know them, we forget, we can just go back and check. So, L -E usted, you know, we can find the answer for that. So let's look. L -E usted should be habla. All right, so let's go back and put it in. So this one's pretty simple. And then if we go back to the book, we'll see the nosotros form as well. And then it does the other two for us, hablais and hablan. So what you're going to see is down the, the, down the column, you're going to see the same ending. Hablamos, we speak, estudiamos, we study. And we could do it for the next one too. Enseñar is to teach. Enseñamos. And there it is. And it's going to be the same all the way down. So the yo form on these is going to always end in o. But you got to take the ar off first. So estudiar becomes estudio etc. so on and so forth. So let's do the U form of all these and a few more and then I'll let you do the rest. Enseño. So you just take the AR off and you're adding the O. It's pretty simple. Usar becomes uso. Uso. And necesitar of course, becomes necesito. Okay, and you'll notice the yo form for all the way down the column is the same. Hablo, estudio, enseño, uso, I use, necesito, I need. Okay. So let's look at ellos, ellas, ustedes. So let's do a couple on this other side. Let's work, let's do enseñar. So we're just going to copy the, the word down to the end of the stem, which is you know, if the AR gone, what would it look like, right? So you can think of crossing off the AR <clears throat> on each of these. And then the ending would be an. If you ever need to see it again, look in your book, or you can actually look at the um, at the rest of the of the chart, and you can find the answer. Enseñan. They teach. And as you go, make sure you're always thinking about what these all mean. Okay, I will let you do the rest of those on your own. Now fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks of the following sentences with the correct forms of the verbs in parentheses. Okay, first thing is you can use this chart to help you that you just filled out. Number one is ella, so it's she, and our verb is estudiar. We want estudiar inglés, so she's studying English. Now the question is what form of estudiar, because we can't just put estudiar in there, right? Estudiar 
has to be the el ella usted form, right? It's ella. So it's the a at the end. So ella estudia inglés. She's studying English. Okay. Next one. The verb is bailar. The subject is yo. So bailo. Yo bailo mucho. Next we have nosotros and the verb is hablar. So again, we have that right there. So we just essentially we're just copying it, aren't we? Nosotros hablamos por teléfono. We're talking on the phone. You know, it doesn't really matter what comes after the blank here, really. All right, you don't have to do any thinking about it, but it uses vocabulary from from your book, so you should be able to understand it. Ellos, they, they're using the computer, or they use the computer, right? Ellos usan, usan la computadora, la computadora, right? Ellos usan, hablan, estudian, enseñan, usan. Okay, now with this one, quien, quien is who. So you have to think. What form is it going to be? Well, you know, quien, when you ask quien, who, you're basically saying he or she, right? You're asking about a person. So we're going to say necesita. Quien necesita un bolígrafo. Who needs. You see how that works? It has the S at the end in English. He needs. She needs. Who needs. So it's obvious that it's the same form. For tú, put the answer in there. That's easy. Use montar, but use the same rules. Ustedes, okay, this means ustedes. That's this one right here, ustedes. Dibujan, you, you draw. Right? Ustedes dibujan. Number eight, nosotros patinamos. Uh, numero nueve, el profesor. This is, no, this is another one that can be a little bit confusing, right? The teacher. Well, think of what it is in English. The teacher teaches, right? Just like in English, right? We have the S at the, at the end. This means it's third person. So you use the enseña. Because it's he or she, isn't it? In this case, he, el profesor. El profesor enseña la lección. Número 10. Número diez, Ana y María. Okay. Ana y María. So it's two girls that you're talking about. So that means they. It's ellas here. They. Ellas. Ana María. Necesitan. Necesitan el libro de español. Because we're saying that they need it. Jaime walks, right? It's the he. Jaime camina todos los días. Dolores y yo. This is nosotros or nosotras. Dolores y yo bailamos. When it's somebody else and you, that means you're going to say us. Tú y tus amigos, you and your friends. Well, when I, I'm talking to you and your friends, I'm going to say you guys, right? You all. It's a plural you. So it's the same form as they in Spanish. Tú y tus amigos cantan. Muy bien, you and your friends, y'all sing really well. So it's the y'all, right? You all. ¿Qué hacen hoy? Okay, going on to 2A7. ¿Qué hacen hoy? Today, everybody is doing what he or she likes to do. Follow the model to complete sentences about what everyone's doing. A, a Luisa le gusta bailar. So Luisa likes to dance. Hoy ella baila. Today she's dancing. So she's doing what she likes. 
This is a way to give you the infinitive and then allow you to conjugate in the present tense. Numero uno. A ti te gusta cantar. All right, you like to sing. So today you're singing, right? Hoy. So you take cantar, right? You got to take the stem without the AR. And the tu ending is AS in Spanish. Hoy cantas. Hoy cantas. You do not need to write the pronoun in Spanish. You don't need that because it's obvious. Hoy cantas. Only use the pronoun for emphasis or clarification. Número dos. A mí me gusta hablar por teléfono. Hoy se me gusta hablar por teléfono. I like to talk on the phone. So today I'm talking, right? Hablo por teléfono. A Francisco le gusta patinar. Okay, so Francisco is skating. So again, you have to think about what pronoun it would be. It would be he, right? El hoy patina. And you just move, go on from there. You just keep going with that same pattern. Okay, use the chart up here. You could also use this information here to help. It's really similar. Okay, so I'll let you do that. Part B, using the pictures to help you tell what everyone's doing today. Follow the model. Okay, Manuel y Ca Carlos hoy montan en monopatín. Amelia y yo, that's going to be us, right? Nosotros hoy cantamos, right? To sing, cantamos, okay? Now, if you're not sure what these actions are, you got to go back to the previous video. Look at your vocabulary from this chapter in your book. Otherwise, you're going to be lost. It's going to be difficult. Número dos, tú, tú y Roberto, you and Robert, so course it's going to be you guys you all right so hoy usan la computadora okay if you want if you want you can change it to ustedes or you can even write it out ustedes either way uh, you, you may use it especially if there's more than one uh, form that would work, right? Hablan covers all three of these. Ustedes, ellos, and ellas. And habla covers all three of these. So you may want to, when if you use either of these, you may want to clarify with the pronoun, but it's up to you as long as you understand. Cristina, Miguel, y Linda, right? It's they. Hoy... Montan en bicicleta. They're riding bikes. Tú y yo hablamos por teléfono, ¿verdad? You and I were talking on the phone. Okay, I'll let you do the others. But just to let you know, Joaquin y Jaime, that would be they. So use the ellos form, just like here. And Sofia Tomas, they're dancing. Hoy, it's they again. So five and six are the same pronoun. Hoy, bailan, right? Bailan, they're dancing. And here you have your review, your crossword, which is good, good uh, review for the vocabulary. No es difícil, es fácil, right? Two across and so on, fácil. So it's pretty nice to figure out. So you can do that. And then your organizer, of course, to end this chapter. Okay, that'll end uh, the video for now, for part two. And we will do part three next time. Gracias.